I'm not The Rock. I'm not Roman. I'm not even Cody Rhodes. I have never cared that the odds were against me. As a matter of fact, knowing the odds were against me, having that extra chip on my shoulder is always what's made me who I am. How does it feel to be a big underdog in this? It really is looking like a David versus Goliath. Is it, does it feel that way? Or are you just one of those where you say to yourself, what do the sports books know? This is my life I'm dealing with here. I don't, I don't care what the odds are. I'm, I'm playing for it anyway. Dude, if you asked me at any point in my career, have I ever been the odds on favorite? I would tell you absolutely not. I've been the underdog from day one, man. I grew up in Buffalo, Iowa, in a small town of less than a thousand people. The odds that we're even sitting here having this conversation about me main eventing the biggest WrestleMania of all time. I'm not The Rock. I'm not Roman. I'm not even Cody Rhodes. I don't have a last name to fall back on. I, I don't have any of these uh, these ends. I had to work my way from absolutely nothing to getting to this point. And so I have never cared that the odds were against me. As a matter of fact, knowing the odds were against me, having that extra chip on my shoulder is always what's made me who I am. And so in some ways, I operate best when I'm back against the wall, when it's a thousand to one, you know? Um, and so this WrestleMania is no different. We're here. Nobody on planet Earth thought I'd be in the ring with a rock at WrestleMania 40, but here we are. And now I got a chance to do something that nobody's ever done um, and pin these guys in night one and win the title, keep my title on night two and, and make history. What's left to achieve for you? Oh, man. God. You know, I don't know. Legacy is an interesting question, right? It's uh, like, what's your legacy? What's it going to be? And I've always wanted to leave the business better than where I found it. That's always been my, my major goal, contribute uh, in ways that don't just benefit me. And so I think um, my legacy is set in stone and you can always add to it. But I think when it comes down to it, my, my goal for the future um, is to help the next generation because my time's not done yet, but we're certainly closer to the end than we are to the beginning. And uh, I, I think I'd love to use the, the kind of latter half of my career um, to really help the next generation be the guys who are going to be WrestleMania, you know, main eventing WrestleMania 50, WrestleMania 60 uh, and so on and so forth. And I think I'm in a position now where I've got so much experience over the last two decades, um, in this industry, the last 12 years with WWE traveling the world, that I can do that, that I can help these guys and girls get to the next level um, and and help mold what the future is going to look like. Is that something, it's interesting you say that. I think there was a story in, in Bleacher Report earlier in the year, like in January, that talked about how you've approached some things with more humility than in the past. And have you thought a lot about as you've gotten older in the business, bringing up that next generation? I mean, it's always been something that I've wanted to do. You know, I've had a wrestling school for the last decade. Uh, pretty much, you know, the moment that I started on the road with WWE full time, the idea to, to start a wrestling school in my hometown um, came up and, and I've been at it for 10 years now. So I've always really um, prioritized it, but it's always been something that's kind of been on the back burner. And I think... When you're on your way up, it it's easy to um, become singularly focused, right? It's easier to only worry about yourself and what you need to do to get to the next level. But then when you get to the top, you look around and you go, well, there's not many, not many mountains left to climb, you know? Uh, there's not many oceans left to swim. And when you've done all that and you're by yourself, you kind of wonder like, you know, what's next? And is it worth it to, uh, to kind of continue to just tread this water on your own? And I think the answer is no. And I think as you get older, you know, you start family, um, you know, you start to lose relatives that are older grandparents and aunts and uncles. And you start to realize that there is a fragility, not just to your industry and to your job and your career, but to your life. And uh, your legacy isn't really what you accomplish, but it's how people remember you and how they carry on your legacy. And I think that's really starts to hit home the older you get. And the, 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 like I said, when you realize you're getting closer to the end of your career than you are to the beginning, um, you know, just things start to shift for you in that capacity.